Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll see how we can able to create a fishnet using the ArcGIS Pro. So what is the application of fishnet and why it is useful that we'll see. So you can able to see if you want to do some systematic sampling, okay, then you can able to create a fishnet. There are many more applications. If you'll go to chat GPT and ask about the applications of fishnet, then you can able to see the sampling and data collection, okay. Suppose you want to do some systematic sampling. So you can able to create a fishnet. Again, it will be useful for the data management, then map productions, also parcel mapping. Okay. So like in urban planning and cadastral mapping, the fishnet tool can be used to create a grid over a city or a region, adding in the delineation and management of the land parcels. Then also infrastructure planning, emergency management, wildlife monitoring so establishing a grid system for monitoring wildlife or natural resource this help in designing and organizing survey area for efficient data collections then there is a geocoding and addressing then crop management so number of applications are there so it is based on your objective for what purpose you want to use this so let will understand how to prepare this first so if you'll go to arc map like suppose i will uncheck this okay like suppose i am having this study area okay i am interested to create a fishnet along this study area so for that what we can able to do we'll go to geoprocessing tool okay so in the view there is a geoprocessing tool so in the geoprocessing tool there is a data management okay in the data management there is a sampling okay in the data management there is a sampling in the sampling there is a create fishnet create fishnet so just double click here so output feature class means where you want to save file after creating a fishnet so i will provide a location so i am working in the fishnet folder i have created if you want to create a new folder you can create from here so i have already created i will provide here as a fishnet and just click on the save after that the most important thing is that you need to provide an extent okay you want to prepare this like a prj pamba okay the shape file name is prj pamba so you can able to see this so according to this extent i want to create a fishnet so i will select here as a fishnet but suppose you want to do, for, do it for the current extent okay that also you can able to select a current displays extent so we'll see the both method First, we'll see the study area extent. Okay. So after selection, this automatically it is taking the latitude and longitude and template extent it is taking. So after that, the most important thing is that we need to provide the cell size. Means you want to create a one kilometer by one kilometer buffer, two kilometer by two kilometer buffer. According to that, you can able to provide. So this is in meter. So like I'm interested here for the like 5,000 meter or 5,000 meter. Okay, 5000 meter is 5 kilometer into 5 kilometer grid. I'm interested to create. After that, when you'll add this, this rows and columns will automatically off. Okay, because I'm interested to provide this using the kilometer distance. And after that, create a point label. If you want to create a center point label, you can click this, means you can check this. And after that, I'm interested to create a polygon by 5 kilometer to 5 kilometer polygon. I'm interested to create. And after that, I need to go to environment in the environment i will select the projection as the same as this prj okay what is the projection and the extent i'm interested to select as the same as this this is my extent so i'll select and after that all things are optional so i will just click on the run option so you will see the fish net is created here okay so if you'll uncheck this these are the fishnet and I can hollow this. So now you can able to see these fishnets are created. Like suppose you don't have this shape file. Okay, you don't have the shape file. So let I will uncheck the shape file. And then also I'm interested to create a grid. Then what you can able to do, just select the extent as a current map display. So what are the current map display you are able to see that you need to select. Okay, current map display and 
after selection the current map display other parameter i will keep as it is and the thing is same and just click on the run so see on the current map extent i have created the 5 kilometer into 5 kilometer grid i have created here so this fishnet if i take up so that also you can able to see how much extent we have created okay so it is very easy to generate a fishnet you can also able to see the attribute table of the fishnet so each polygon if i click it will be highlighted here okay so if you are having any doubts regarding this fishnet you can just ask me in the comment sections if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you